Okay, boys and girls, this week we are going to draw a pelican. And what you will need is the watercolor paper that was in your packet, and you will need your watercolors, and the five oil pastels here. You need white, brown, black, yellow, and blue. Now I am going to draw with a pencil so that you can see what I'm drawing. You do not need to draw with the pencil. You are going to draw with the white oil pastel. This is what it's going to look like at the end or something like this one. So the first step is to put our paper vertically under in front of you. And then you are going to draw in the middle of your paper an oval that is kind of on its a little tilted this way. This is the, going to be the body of your bird. And he's sitting kind of at an angle like this. Then we will draw a round head and our head goes at this end. It's not connected. It's just a round circle. And then we're going to kind of make an S shape for the neck. It kind of curves forward. And then this curves around like that and connects, connects to the body. Now, you might want to do this lightly so that you don't have, um, eventually we're going to erase some of these lines, although we are going to paint over them, so it, it will be okay if you don't. Then in the center of the eye, I mean in the center of the head, we're going to draw an eye. And his eye points kind of down. So we're going to do a circle and then we're going to make it kind of pointed down. Because this, where this points, is where the middle of the beak is going to go. And pelicans have very long beaks. So you're going to make it pretty long. This is the middle of the beak. And we want to make the center line pretty, it's a little bit wider up here than it is down here. Now, the top part is the top of the beak. It kind of, it starts wide, and then it goes all the way down and curves around the end like that, over the, that first line we did. And the bottom part of the pelican's beak, this is the part where if they had their beak up, it would make a big pouch for catching fish, it's wider down here. And I'm just gonna go like this until we get to the end. And I might even make it a bit wider like that. It hangs down. Read some of those lines right there. Now, you can put legs on there. Sometimes they kind of sit low um, on and keep their legs up under their feathers. But if you do put legs on him or her, they are going to be webbed, kind of like a duck, like that, and then the other one. Okay, now I'm going to have it be standing on a rock, and so I want you to draw the rock, and you don't need to draw the whole rock, just a little mound because there's going to be water all around it. So we do one rock that he's standing on. And then I'm going to do a second rock, because generally you don't really see just one rock out in the ocean. Now, we're going to go back and we're going to add some feathers, because he's not just an oval like that. So he wants, at the back, you want some tail feathers. And they come around, back up, kind of in the middle. And then the other one has some other feathers come around like that. So this is going to disappear. And that's going to disappear, and now he kind of has a body. This part goes into his neck. Then I'm going to draw with my little pencil some its feathers so that it's not a smooth line, kind of jagged. Like that. Now we will get to the um, what he looks like is when we get the oil pastels out. Okay, so he pelicans can be kind of fat birds, so it's okay if your if your oval is fat. 
Maybe he's caught a lot of fish lately. And I don't want his neck out quite so far, so I'm gonna bring it in. Okay, now, to do the waves, we want to make kind of curved up like this. And I'm gonna put dots like this, and you're gonna be doing this with your oil pastel so it looks like spray when we paint over it. And then I'm gonna do another one. And you're gonna do all of this with your white oil pastel because this is what's gonna make it look so cool when we paint over it. So there's my first row. And then I'm gonna do another little row of waves in front of that. And I'm gonna put some dashes with my oil pastel and I'll show you this in just a minute. I'm doing this with my pencil so you can see. If I do it with my white oil pastel, you won't, get, you won't see it. But we'll go over it. Okay, and then here in the back, I'm gonna do a couple of just wavy lines for ocean water. And then one more row of bigger waves. And I'm not drawing through my pelican because I want that to be, the pelican is the center. We don't want, you don't want your waves going through the pelican. And one last horizon line right here in the back. This will be the sky. Now, when you draw the sky, we will... So what I want you to do is make sure that all these lines that we just drew, I drew them in pencil, you are drawing them with the white oil pastel. And I'm just going to trace over because otherwise it won't do the same thing when I show you the paint. Okay, also on our um, rocks, we want the tops of the rocks to be white, so you're gonna color pretty hard, and then make some, oops, I should've done that with pencil so you could see. I'm making some stripes down my rocks, like this, then I'm gonna do white. Okay? And the top's white. You'll see why when we get when we get there. Okay, so let's make sure I trace over all my lines. Yours, you're just gonna draw. You can just draw straight with the white oil pastel. And you have to kind of push hard with the oil pastel for it to turn out. Okay, and a few dashes along here. Now, for my pelican, I am going to trace around with the black, and I want my, or the, I'm sorry, the brown first, and then I'm gonna do some lines for the feathers. I'm not coloring the whole thing in with the brown, because we're gonna paint over it, and then I'm gonna take some black, and then along with the feathers, I'm gonna do that along the edge, a little bit jagged, so that they look like feathers. And my feet. Okay, now, for the head, the eye, you want to be black, but you want to leave a little bit of white in the center for glare. And then the center line, you want to leave that a little bit white right here at the beginning, right there. Now, pelicans have kind of dark feathers right under their eye, and they have some yellow right above their eye. So I'm going to do that with the oil pastel as well top of the beak can be black. And then I'm gonna do my folds of the beak, of the pocket just in the oil pastel so that it, um... now that's okay, it doesn't look done because we're going to paint 
over it. So I'm also going to add some clouds. So I'm just making swirly lines and not the whole sky, just a few clouds in here. And then I'm going to highlight the clouds with some blue underneath. Just so I know where they kind of are. Okay, there's my clouds. Alright, now we're going to take our big paintbrush and we want quite a bit of water with this. You're going to take your blue and we're going to remember that this is a rock, so we don't actually, let's not, let's do the rock first. We're going to do the rock first, which we're going to paint brown. So here I'm just going to paint inside up to my first wave, but not on my wave. I want this all brown because this is where my rock is. And notice it's not coloring where I have the white oil pastel that I've colored. So I paint this rock and then I paint this, this rock. There. All in here. Now, this way I won't get mixed up and accidentally paint my rock blue. Okay, once I have my rock painted, I'll rinse my brush, and then I'm getting my blue. And then we're going to paint over the waves everywhere there is water. This is the ocean. So remember, my ocean goes all the way up to here. Now, it doesn't matter if it's all the same tone or color, like you can, the more water you use, the lighter it will be. The less water you use, the darker it will be. But notice, if you pushed hard enough with your oil pastel, it leaves the white lines um, white. So you get this wave spray effect and you're going to keep going and until you've painted your whole ocean and I'm using my big brush because there's a lot of area that I want to um, paint and I want to make sure that if you take if you use your tiny brush it's going to take you a long time to do this part okay now i want to make sure that i have it kind of dark up near where the sky starts because i want the there to i want you to be able to see the difference between the blue that we use for the sky and the blue that we use for the ocean oops that's kind of green there let's put more bloom on it if i got green in there accidentally all right, now, my sky, I want to be a lot lighter than my ocean. So what I'm going to do is I'll take a little bit of paint, and then I'll go back with just water and spread it around so that it gets lighter and lighter. So then I just get water on my brush, and I spread it around until it's just a light, light blue. Okay, because I don't need to keep adding paint if I want it to be... A light blue. Now if your paint disappears and you can't see blue at all anymore then you can add a little bit more but you want mostly water and then it will look different from your ocean because we use darker colors down here. Okay then what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to take the brown and we're going to paint the body of our pelican. So now I'm just going to paint the whole thing brown. Oops. But pelicans are kind of dark brown, so I'm going to add some black along here and here. And then I'm going to, this is where, it, um, and I want the neck to be black here. So this part. And that. Okay, now I'm going to take a smaller brush 
And then I'm going to draw my feathers that go like this. And my feathers that go like this. And then I'm going to take this and smudge that top part. And then it looks kind of like the feathers along there. Okay. Now, with my small brush, I'm going to take a little bit of brown and a little bit of black, and I'm going to paint my bucket of the bottom part of the bill. And the top part is black right here. I don't know if you can really tell the difference in there, but I did put some brown in there. And if, it's, if you can't tell the difference, then you can just go back and add a little bit more brown. Drop it in there. Okay, but remember, see how this one is spreading? That's because this blue part was still pretty wet, and so it brought the brown out into, the, into my sea, so I can just dab it until I get it away. And then I can go back with some blue, and I can add the blue to cover that up. And then over here, I didn't get all the way up there because that's all ocean right there. Okay, now, the other part is, is that the head isn't totally white like this, but I don't want it totally black. I want it kind of gray, so like here. So again, we do the same kind of thing like we did with this guy, just water on my brush, and I just take a little bit of color just from the edge, and then I smear it over so that it stays very light. And it doesn't matter if you get a little bit on that yellow because it's already um, oil pastel and it will be it will resist. Okay, now if I want to put a little bit of black on my webbed feet here in between. He's standing right there. There we go. And there is our pelican painting. I can't wait to see yours.